mornings like these. Thank you for joining me in this Get My Life Together video. These are the tactics and tools I use on days like these. You know those days when you start to fall asleep when your alarm goes off. Here I am trying to avoid the inevitable, but eventually I had to turn my alarm off. Rolling out of bed, we're going to get this day started the way we do every day. Heading over to the windows to let whatever amount of sunlight this winter day has in. Gotta get that vitamin D and my plants will be happy. Now we're heading over to the washroom to do my usual morning hygiene routine. First we brush, then we brush some more, and then we wash. You know how they say, make your bed to start your day right? Well, this day and the last couple days have been so wrong, I wanna throw the whole bed away. But instead of doing that, we're just gonna switch it up. The redesigning, redecorating, and repositioning helps add fresh energy to an old space. Hopefully, changing the sheets and the duvet will up the aura. Switching to a yoga fit, something that I do almost every day, but I need this more than ever today. Before we get into it, I'm gonna add a couple drops of essential oils into my diffuser. Roll out the mat. One thing I've loved about doing yoga over the years is even though I'm legally blind, it's during this time where I get to tap into my body and not think so much about my vision loss. I'm challenging myself, I'm pushing my limits, and sometimes I'm falling out of positions too. But I always learn something new about myself that I can take with me off the mat. When the sesh is done, I'm gonna take a few moments to meditate and truly tap into my body. Once I'm aligned and aware, I'm gonna pick a fit and hop into the shower to get refreshed. After I've showered and refreshed myself, I'm gonna turn on the kettle for a, you guessed it, matcha moment. I love matcha for so many reasons. But here are three really good reasons that you should get into matcha too. The first is it's a caffeine kick without the crash. Two, it helps with your metabolism. And three, it boosts your mood. For breakfast, a childhood comfort food, oatmeal. Since you can never have too much sense going on, Ordinarily, I never have breakfast like this. I'm usually doing something while I'm eating. But on days like today, I really need to slow down and savor, take my time and be present. I'm still a little hungry after that, so I'm gonna follow it up with a homemade yogurt parfait. Which reminds me, I haven't had my probiotics today. What's good for the gut is good for the mind. Now it's time to do a little journaling. I know this is the typical thing to do when you're feeling blue, but trust me, it really does help. What I like to do is two-part journal. The first is to reflect and the second is to plan. When I used to just reflect, if I go back, it's just a rant session where I'm complaining about what's happened. But now that I paired it with planning, I'm better able to use the past to propel me to a better future.
There's a saying, when you look good, you feel good. It's kind of true. The worse I feel, the more makeup I put on. Can't even see the eyeshadow I'm putting on, but at least when I do this, the action of investing and taking time to put myself together helps me pull myself together mentally. Meanwhile, the mascara on the lower lash line, life legally blind. Time for cup number two. This time it's gonna be a Japanese green tea, which similarly to the matcha helps with your mood, detoxifying and energizing. It's steep just in time to start my therapy sesh. Usually I do therapy once a month virtually, but I call this emergency session because I was in dire need to speak with my therapist. It is so essential that when you're really in the throes of life, you have a professional who's unbiased and will ask you those tough questions. When it's over, I'm gonna take a couple moments to either do my homework or just sit down and decompress because that stuff is heavy. And I noticed that these plants got to go. Why am I holding on to these dead plants? Here, a great number of disabled people used to lie. The blind, the lame, the paralyzed. One was there. He asked him, do you want to get well? Hey man, you want some of this? Hey. You want to get well? One of the most effective ways for me to feel better is to listen to the word. If you're not spiritual, this probably won't work. So you can listen to a good playlist or some mindful meditation. I'm getting a little hungry, but it's not quite time for dinner yet. So I'm going to snack on these energy oat bites. A healthy lifestyle is not just about eating well. Eating clean and eating green is not where it ends. You also want meals that are easily digestible because like I said, what's good for the gut is proven to be good for your mind and your mentality too. But also, if you're like me and you hate being in the kitchen, the faster the meal, the better it is for you. I love pasta, it's a quick prep meal, and I subbed regular pasta for this black bean fettuccine, which is kinder to your intestines. Bon appetit. Just like cooking, I hate cleaning, but I do it because I always feel better when it's done. I've been avoiding this freezer since I don't even know how long, but who knew that I would feel so much better after cleaning the fridge? Here on the evening, I do my usual nighttime routine, just taking a little bit more time to indulge in my skin. Then I clean the bathroom and I'm gonna get rid of some of the clutter the less your eyes can see, the more calm the space seems. Last and most important is going to bed early. That's the best way to break the cycle. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you use any tips, let me know down below. And until next time, love and later.